Buongiorno to you all. Today I'm going to go out on the streets of Alcamo here in Sicily where I've been living for well over a year now for those of you new to the channel. Um, my friends always say to me watch out for the Mafia! Watch out for the Mafia! Those days are gone. But just in case I brought the X-Pro1 for protection. So it's me, the X-Pro1 and the 18 to 55 kit lens on the streets of Alcamo, Sicily. Oh, and just to warn you, some of the footage I shot actually with the uh, X-Pro1 itself. It's not known for its video quality, but I ain't gonna lug around the X-H1, so. Uh, my apologies for any poor sound quality and video quality. Some of the clips I did film the other day with the XH1, so it's going to be a, a mixture of both. And no, cat, you cannot come with me, Capito. One man and his Fuji. are compulsory I'm afraid in Italy um, the Italian police they don't mess about my friends um, no mask in a cell throw away the key bread and water for the rest of your life so the town of Alcamo does have a very interesting history when it comes to the Mafia so here's a quick rundown at the end of the 1980s and the beginning of the 1990s, there was a bloody Mafia war between the Clan Greco and the members of the emergent Mafia of Corleone, led by the boss Vincenzo Milazzo in the territory of Alcamo. Milazzo received orders from Salvatore Rina to eliminate members of the old Mafia and put in command only his trusted men. Just for this reason, the Greco family represented an obstacle. The war bathed the town in blood for about five years and provoked tens of victims. My Sicilian friend here in Alcamo, Paolo, remembers the time well. He said, It was a frightening time. No one was safe. The police were paid off to keep quiet. Over 40 people were killed. The new Corleone's Mafia prevailed. But the cost to be paid was very high because a lot of members of this clan also died. However, things changed after Paolo Borsellino and Giovanni Falcone, two anti-mafia Italian judges, were killed, along with five police officers, months apart, in 1992. Now they are considered national heroes in Italy, especially here in Sicily, for their fight against the Mafia. As a result of their deaths, there was a major crackdown on the Mafia, resulting in the arrests and convictions of Salvatore Rina in 1993 and Giovanni Brusca in 1997 for the murders of Falcone and Borsellino. Both, of course, sentenced to life. Rina died in 2017, aged 87.
So what I have noticed about Sicily is everybody stares at you, regardless of if you have a camera or not. So when you do have a camera in your hand, you look kind of shady. Everybody really stares at you. But you've got to get over the fear of people looking at you. It's one of the main things about going out on the street taking photographs. Fear nothing, my friends, fear nothing. But I, I really love walking around this, this town. It's great. Narrow streets, there's this smells, this, this sounds, this, you know that you're not in England. And I love it, I love it. Especially the uh, Baroque architecture. Plenty of that here. It's really beautiful, lovely little town, lovely little town.